Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Rick Broadman Baptist Church. This is the Broadman Word for May 7th, 2021. And today I want to talk to you about an interesting concept called hustle. There's a guy uh, in business. His name's John Acuff. He's um, strictly a digital businessman, has no um, brick and mortar stores, has no um, any uh, storage facilities. It's just all digital, everything he does. And he once defined um, what he feels the difference is between some regular people uh, that are normally successful or average and people who end up being very effective and very successful. And he said it was hustle and he defined it as doing important things that others are not willing to do. One more time, doing important things that others are not willing to do. It's a pretty simple statement, but it does make a delineation uh, for us to think about as Christians. You know, let's start with the doing. This is different than planning or anticipating or analyzing or any of those kinds of things that people might spend time, you know, I think I could do this or I wonder, you know, what it would be like in this particular service or ministry or um, they feel compelled perhaps to do something. But it's all sort of a perfunctory early stage of doing that doesn't necessarily result in doing. Uh, analysis, paralysis by analysis, perhaps, uh, not knowing what to do. But doing is the actual getting up and deciding to engage and to do something specifically for the kingdom of Christ, specifically to fulfill your role as a reflection of the love of Jesus Christ, as an ambassador of the gospel, a action, an intentional thought out action. You did something. So number one's doing. Second thing for us to think about is important things. And notice this statement emphasizes um, doing important things that others are not willing to do. Didn't say all things. Doing all things is just being busy and that's easy. Lots of people are busy, particularly people who feel like they need to get everything done. But important things um, and not necessarily urgent things. Urgent things tend to take on an importance uh, in our mind that maybe it shouldn't be assigned uh, because urgent things can be things that don't necessarily move the kingdom forward. Uh, they might be things that you feel like need to be taken care of right away. But in reality, perhaps if you were to give it some interest, introspect that it might take a different meaning or a different place um, in the urgency scale. And so then you could focus on the important things. It's generally suggested that you have a list in your life of 10 important things. And these things need to be God-centered, God-focused, and a list of how it is you're going to go about uh, consecrating, meaning make sacred the things that you're going to do in a day centered around these 10 things. Now, these tasks don't necessarily have to be all um, church-related tasks. They can be things that you have to do in your day. Go to work, go to school, go to the store, whatever it is. But they're important things, things that need to be done, but with a different twist. When you take this hustle attitude and you place something on the important list, it has to have attached with it a mission focus, meaning that you're going to do this thing, uh, whatever it is, but you're going to do it with a mission focus. You're going to introduce a spiritual aspect to whatever it is that you're going to do. You're going to represent Jesus Christ in the situation or the action, this thing that you're going to do. Uh, and that's made it to your important list. And in that way, it takes on importance and not just urgency. Now, it doesn't mean that an urgent thing 
can't be on the important list. Entirely possible. But in its urgency, it does not remove the need for it to be done in a spiritual God-honoring way that can move the kingdom forward, that can let you exercise the gifts, the spiritual gifts that you have in your personal ministry. So doing important things that others are not willing to do. And then finally, the others willing to, aren't willing to do or things that you are going to be willing to do statement. You know, um, a lot of us get very comfortable with our life and who we are and um, what we do. And we sort of set up this rhythm or flow about our, ourselves. And uh, it's not real comfortable to get outside of that. Uh, and it doesn't often include things that other people aren't doing. Where we then get hustle and the effectiveness that comes from hustle is when we are willing to step outside of that normal flow, that sort of the confines of what you might refer to as normal or regular or um, day to day. There we can find um, success because there aren't going to be other people there. You know, uh, I'm in aviation and we fly at altitudes and there are uh, the lower altitudes where you find a lot of little airplanes. And then there's the higher altitudes where you find a lot of bigger um, airline type traffic. And just underneath that, you find a lot of business jets. But there's this set of altitudes in between all that where there's a lot of room to operate and very little resistance, very little trouble with air traffic control. And the reason is there's hardly anybody there. So when you decide to do some things that others are not willing to do and you step outside of where everybody else is, you're going to experience a lack of resistance. There's not going to be the challenges and the troubles and the distractions and the detractions that um, you would normally find in a task or even an urgent or important one because there's nobody else there. You're going to be leading the way. You're going to be in charge of it. You're going to commit it to God and do it according to his will. And you're going to sail right through and experience a fulfillment and an effectiveness in your ministry that is um, hard to find in the, quote, normal or regular flow or way of doing things. And that's where you get your hustle, being willing to step outside and do things that others aren't willing to do. Then your light can really shine brightly because there's not many other lights around. You can be the beacon to which others can come um, because they can see you uh, amongst the noise easily because you're out there where there's not very many other people. Hey, listen, um, hustle is a lot about saying yes. So are you willing to say yes to God? Yes to the mission that you were given? Yes to the ministry of reconciliation? And yes to stepping outside and do important things that others aren't willing to do? I hope so, because it is a wonderful place to be. Listen, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and we'll see you next time.